the goal of it is to sort of present the other side of Chicago music because I think what's portrayed now is only half of it and maybe even less than half but like I think we have kind of a responsibility to make sure that the other half is shown and represented <laughs> I like Chuck English's sound. I think it's cool, and I think it's it's like like kind of a more modern play on like classic hip hop type shit. And I just thought it would be a cool um, like a cool collaboration and kind of push me to do something that I wouldn't have normally done. The real significance of the track comes in pairing Chuck English with Alex Wiley and Vic Mensa. Without the cool kids, a lot of what's going on right now in hip hop um, wouldn't be happening. They definitely opened the gates of this digital and uh, blog era and have championed a lot of things that have since been copied. It's fun to do different types of shit though, you know? You're not restricted, and restricted to anything. The thing about Chuck's beat too, and just the track in general is when I started writing to it, listening back to it, it it's uh, the verse that I put on it is like it's got a lot of ebbs and flows and brings a lot of its own character to the track, you know, which is cool because the track's got space for that. It's mad open. <laughs> That Chuck English shit. It's just got a dope drum pattern, some simple shit, you know, in the keys, sample wise. And then it's just, you know, it leaves it up to interpretation. So I interpreted it. The beat, um, it was definitely not not really in my comfort zone, but that was kind of why I wanted to do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Layer that shit up like a whole bunch. Yeah. Let me do like three more. Damn, it's about to get good. We signed Alex Wiley after he, we worked with him on a song called Game Face on Closed Sessions Volume 2. And after hearing that, you know, I thought, man, this is a kid that can just rap his ass off. And I really thought that's who we were signing to the label. Um, after working with him, it's funny because like, rapping is kind of the least of what he does musically or wants to spend his time on. I ain't never touching the ground, I stay too high. I don't, mm, I don't really know what to do right there. All right, let's skip the singing, let's just focus on raps. Okay, I sing like a thug angel, that's kind of what it is, people don't really know. Um, you know, just getting, just getting my D'Angelo on from time to time, you know. I don't know of any other artist doing what he's doing or even seeking to do it. I think I think it's just cool what we're doing and it's kind of unique and I think that's why people want to be a part of it because they see that like you know we're just kind of approaching it approaching approaching this music shit in a different different sort of way and we just kind of do our own thing. Yo, Chuck wanting to do a closed session when he's back in Chicago just speaks more to the validation of what we're doing and further coming full circle and with these new cats, uh, Alex Wiley joining our label and, and Vic Mensa working with us, uh, how he does, it just creates this great energy and that's the energy that Closed Sessions is all about. Can't feel my feet, I've been running through. I'm marijuana on the field, I feel excellent. Burn a bush like George W. You enrolled a new testament. Texting and driving, drop it in the hair while she bopping. Sorry, my eye be so clumsy. I mean, my eyes be so fuzzy. Real team, I'm back to bong and then rip it hard. Hella high and then get some sharks. Five on five, I'm finna hit the park. Just riding around in your sister's car. Niggas dipping, they weed and lean. Niggas taking that shit too far. Cause I do that shit like once a week. Just sit to me and I'm instantly snoring. Ah. 